I got it for free to make a review, so thanks Topdon for sponsoring this video. This is Topdon RTDIAC 900 Lite, and that is currently one of the cheapest bi-directional scan tools you can buy. And in this review I will show you what it can do. Ok, so you are getting this scan tool built in the tablet. What is great that you don't have to use wired connection, it works with Bluetooth. You plug it in your OBD port and this scan tool will work wirelessly. This VCI is magnetic, you just put it back and it doesn't fall. What you also get is this adapter. Because this VCI is little big and for some cars it can be hard to fit in in OBD port. Of course this will fit in OBD port but since the body is little bit bigger you might have trouble connecting it to some vehicles and in that case you will connect it to this cable and then you have this smaller adapter. Secondly you get this cable that can connect your VCI to your scan tool. So you can use Bluetooth but you also can connect the VCI to scan tool to make it completely wired connection. Ok so that is all basic information you need. I will not be reading you all the technical specs. What you can do just use the link in description, go to RTDAC page and you can read all the technical data there. Ok so let's plug it in and I will show you what it can do on this Corolla. Take my VCI, plug it inside and turn on the ignition. Ok let's go to diagnostics. Now you can either choose the brand or we can just simply use AutoWin, let it detect automatically. It's Toyota. I can either use these hot functions, these are service functions, and these are used to service the vehicle. For those who don't know, the service procedures, a lot of service tasks on newer vehicle requires having service procedures on your scan tool. For example, on this Toyota, if you want to change rear brake pads, there is electronic brake calipers, and only way to change the brake pads is use this EPB reset. Now I can go to this auto scan. Problem with this Toyota is that it is only slightly older than one year. We don't even have 100,000 kilometers yet, so I think we don't have any faults. But I want to show you how it can scan fault codes, so what we will do is we will create the fault ourselves. Let me pop the hood. Ok, so I unplugged the sensors, uh, mother flow, integer temperature and one more. Now we can go ahead and we can try the auto scan. One of the differences between scan tools like this and simple engine code readers is that scan tool will be able to scan all my control modules. There are more than 30 control modules inside this Corolla and top down will be able to scan all of them. So let me press this auto scan, let's see how fast it can do. It is very quick, check it out. It already scanned like 14 control modules. Now when I tried the full scan on some Bluetooth scanners, sometimes I could have, I know I scanned one car for like 15 minutes to scan 30 control modules. So this is very fast. Ok, and already we have it scanned. Now you can see all the control modules. There is 33 control modules, fault codes in two of them. What you can do is either clear those codes, I don't want to do that, and you can also make a diagnostic report. Great for car shops. See, it will show you these codes and you can save this report or even share it via Bluetooth or email and it will be stored in my scan tool reports. Now let's check what those codes are. So let's go to engine, read DTCs. Ok, I unplugged the integer temperature sensor and mass airflow sensor. Those are in one sensor I left unplugged and also I unplugged and plug it back the barometric sensor or MAP sensor. Ok, so I have codes PO105, PO110 and PO100. Now a lot of the times you might be used to seeing 5 digit codes. If you see 7 digit codes like this, just don't think about the last 2 digits. So like this one, PO10014. Without this 14, it is classic code PO100, and the 14 is just the additional description of the code. In this case, the last two digits 14 means short to the ground or open. Ok, that is because I left the con I didn't plug the connector back. For each code it will tell you what type of code it is, either pending, confirmed or permanent. This failure should mean that it's permanent fault because I left the connector unplugged. If you open the code there is additional information, first the freeze frame data, live data parameters from exactly the time when this code was stored in ECU, you can see all this data. And you can also tap this search, it will show you YouTube videos, blog posts, everything you can use to fix this code. 
This can too also works like regular tablet basically. You can even go to YouTube if you want to watch some more car hacker videos. Okay, let's go back. We are in the engine control module now. We have other options like clearing default codes, check the live data, do active tests or use special functions. Clearing the codes that would clear default codes obviously. Now before we start clearing codes I will show you other features first. In each control module you can check your live data for that control module and it displays all of this live data just for the engine. There are separate live data values for each control module and you can also watch multiple live data streams in graphic format. Let's select engine speed, mass airflow sensor, oxygen sensor voltage sensor 2, so after catalytic converter, and also the voltage from our air to fuel sensor. Okay, so you can check six different sensors at once, either like these multiple graphs in one screen, or you can open those graphs separately. You can also take up to four data and put them together in one graph and even record measured data. By the way, you cannot just record the data. What you can also do is record everything that is happening on the screen. So I am now not just recording the data, but I am also recording my entire screen. When you are about to exit live data, it will save your recorded data. You can even change the name. You can also check your live data in every control module. For example, if I go to this telematic system, every module does store some different live data. Go to data stream, the telematics unit is sending the mileage and other data to my dealership. Now there is different set of live data. For example, you can check the total distance traveled. This is very useful when you want to check used vehicles. You can go to different control modules and look for stored mileage data to confirm if the mileage is real. So each control module does store its own live data and top down RTDAG is able to access each control module and retrieve the live data from all modules. For example the mileage data and those should be in around 5 or 6 control modules in this vehicle out of 30. For example let's check the hybrid control module. There should be a mileage record as well. Data stream. See and also there is a mileage record of distance traveled. So scan tool like this will also be very helpful when we are checking used vehicle before buying. If the vehicle is newer it will have more mileage records stored in different control modules and if your scanner can access them like this top down you are able to confirm the real mileage. And now another important feature of bidirectional scan tools is the bidirectional feature. Why are these tools called bidirectional is because they can do active or actuation tests. These are bidirectional tests only for the engine control module. For example, control the engine cooling fan. Okay, when we are doing bidirectional tests, you might also want to look at live data. I don't in this case, but this can be very useful. And now I am in bidirectional testing for my engine cooling fan. Now high speed. So I confirmed my engine cooling fan works. Okay, so this bidirectional tests, same as the live data, if you are able to access every control module like with this RTDAC, you can perform bidirectional tests in each control module. Each control module have different active tests. For example, now I am in my body module and all of these tests are just for the body module. For example, vehicle horn. or my door lock, lock and unlock. We can also wash our front window just with our scan tool. <laughs> okay, off. Can we also wipe it? I hope we can. Uh, front wiper, low operation. On. Okay, that's kind of fun. <laughs> so we can control basically our whole car with these bidirectional tests. Almost everything that is powered by electricity can be run from just our scan tool. Check how many tests are in just one module and we have more than 30 modules in this Corolla. Every module has own different live data and own different bidirectional tests. Apart from the diagnostics and maintenance, you have some other stuff here. What I like the most out of this library are technical service bulletins or TSBs. Okay, so if you don't know, those TSBs are guides to some issue that is common for one vehicle model. For example, check this one. 
technical service bulletin and you will really get a complete guide on how to fix that issue. There is some more to explore, for example, we even can use our scan tool to take photos and video. It also does have a flashlight. Ok, so that is basically it for the review. My conclusion, I really like this tool. I think it is very good pick for DIY mechanic that wants to step a bit up from the basic engine code reader. I think for the money you pay, you are getting a great value. I'm recommending buying this RTDX 900. So go to link in description and there will be more information about the scanner.